Last week Saturday, it was MWF10 Republica. And now we're going back for RetroCon in Lucky Chinatown Mall. Oh man, this is my usual route going there. Because I don't like going through there. And uh, the streets are being fixed. Oh boy. I love my neighborhood. Ugh. Alright, there it is, finally. Lucky Chinatown Mall. That was a 10 minute walk. <laughs> Where do I go through? The front or the side? God, I hate crossing this road. Yeah, I'm still alive. Yeah, welcome to the wonderful land of Lucky Chinatown Mall. Mall that is two sizes too small. Oh, look at that cute little doggy. I was supposed to go to another con after this. It's called Meow Con. But I don't have time, so I'm just gonna go to this one and that's it. Too bad, because I like cats. And they're playing copyrighted music. Great. Just what I needed. It's mostly toy booths. Huh. Oh, yeah, gaming stuff. If only I have money right now, I'd buy a PS4. Well, what do we got here? K uh, Konami. Uh, F Konami. I can't curse in this vlog, by the way. So it's mostly collectibles. Hmm. I don't know if I really have money for a shirt. That Yu Yu Hakusho shirt looks nice. Detroit Smash too. I'm partial to My Hero Academia. Yeah, I know what My Hero Academia is these days. Last year I didn't. Then I caught up. I binge watched it. And <laughs> the Hamburglar. I um, Well, not a hater, but I'm not into Punko Pops. Maybe some of them are actually nice though. The ones that don't look like a conventional Funko Pop are the ones I'm into. And then there's the Jollibee Funko Pop because of course. It's still overpriced, it's now a thousand, Jesus. Oh man. Well, for 200 less you can get a Colonel Sanders Funko Pop. If you're a fan of fast food. Yeah, it's not a random hatchet, but it's a random laser sword. It's kind of bent though. Uh, Oh, oh, wait a minute. It's a Kamen Rider Gaim thing. Oh, yeah. You get to unlock it like a padlock. And then... They put in your driver and stuff. And then shout Henshin and turn into a Kamen Rider. With a silly fruit head. Here's the strawberry one. And somehow this... Fits in with a theme of samurai. I, uh, I don't know. Maybe it, I guess it's fruit ninja. I don't know. Why are you so mad about her Disney property? You're worth millions. Well, I don't know about now. Marvel is worth more than you at the moment, but still. I guess you have your uses. Like in Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> Toy cars. Man, I really regret no longer having my matchboxes. Ugh. They were the best. Right until I wrecked them. The good thing about using my DSLR is... I get to do things with amazing detail. Look at that. Rrr. Your latest movie was amazing. I loved it. I guess business is booming. Cool. Uh, this is the only problem with this location. Ah, it's a mall. It's right in the middle of the mall. It's not a separate convention hall, so... Way too many people passing by. But hey, what do you expect from a convention that's a uh, free admission? Just like MWF 10 Republica last week. Oh, wait a minute. There's the comic section. That's cool. Thank you for not sitting. I uh, don't know. Is that a backhanded compliment? I always get weirded out by warnings like that. Well, you don't have to thank me. I'm going to sit anyway. <laughs> oh boy, Prince. This is tempting. Wa uh, money out of my wallet. Arr. I know someone who's gonna really like that. Talking to you, Zach, Brigitta, Tracer, and of course, 
two for 200. I'm tempted. Get that and uh, maybe bison. Even though I don't actually play bison in Street Fighter. But he's the best character there. Of course he is. 350 each. Two for 600. Look at these. These are 3D as hell. That's the best one of the bunch, of course. I am tempted. Do I have 550? Uh, again with the... Uh, Tony O'Malley. He makes really cool stuff. Uh, okay, now this is really what's going to pull money out of my wallet. Oh God, bad boy. And of course, say hi, yeah. The man, the myth, the legend. How much? Nah, konti lang pero eh. I'll get 31. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, that's it. You know, didn't even have to think twice. Well, that's my name. This is interesting, though. Reminds me of uh, Shogun Executioner. He's mostly known for uh, Pugat Baboy, but he has other works, too. Like that one. There's Pugat Baboy 1. I don't have that one, but I don't have money right now. Uh, at least I got 31. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah, awesome. Thank you, sir. You continue to shape my life in interesting ways. Thank you very much, sir. I, get, I think that's the only thing I'll actually buy here. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Oh, boy. A lot more Kamen Rider. There's Gaim. I actually like the design of Gaim. Uh, I also got uh, pixel beat art. I think we saw this back in a retro gaming convention. Retro gaming expo, I mean. There's uh, the wizard driver. There's the Oz driver. There's the beautiful double driver. Is that supposed to be a Kiva driver? Uh, I don't have uh, my favorite. Kabuto. Man, I really like Kabuto. Oh. I know a certain MWF wrestler who really likes Oja. Talk to you, Fabio Makisig. Yeah. Guess where he gets his uh, mean streak? Is from being a fan of Kamen Rider Oja. Uh, Kuga. In his various forms. Oh, One Piece. The only reason why I watch One Piece is because of Zoro. I don't know. He's my type of character. Dragon Ball. Do they have Android 18? Hmm. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh! Just like in the show, Part Gas the Ace falls to his doom. I don't know. Like, he died, right? He died in the show, and he dies here, too. How unfortunate. Let's take a look at the All Might and his massive hard on for justice. Uh, it's a hard on for justice. What else do you expect? I don't think there's much to actually vlog about here in RetroCon. It's basically a Collecticon. It's like TagCom, but it's, uh, it's located in Mega, Mega World Lifestyle Malls. Another one of our sponsors. Uh, one of the best designs among the Heisei era Kamen Riders. Kamen Rider Oz. He's certainly one of my favorites. The dinosaur one is really cool, I think. A lot of Ultraman. A lot, ooh, a lot of uh, Peanuts. A lot of Snoopy. If you're a Snoopy collector, there you go. Haha, <laughs> Sando. Where did most of his uh, basketball skills come from? Uh, from that... Really, really, really high top fade he's sporting. Jesus. Is that even possible? Oh yeah, no, like, uh, who's that player again? Nerland Noel? He had a really high one. Yeah. It's bigger. Anyway, it's Porto's dad and Sarada's dad. Both absentee fathers extraordinaire. <laughs> uh, it's really awkward recording here. Holy crap, that's, that's the shit. Look at this. Oh, these are posters, dude. How much is this? 
This is awesome. Do you have five Venoms? Yeah, five deadly Venoms. I spot one with uh, the legendary Huang Zhang Li. This guy. And Philip Ko, man. And of course, we have this, uh, King. <laughs> Which I'm okay with on my wall. Oh, yeah. I want one of uh, Huang Zhang Li kicking. There we go. This legendary uh, flying kick. Oh, look at that one. Does it have nudity? That'd be nice. So it's basically uh, stills from the movie. That's cool. If there's a bear still of this, that'd be nice. Shogun's Ninja. Cool. <laughs> it had to be one. And then there's, uh, there's Badots, man. <laughs> this is just a combination of this and the graphic design. Makes it really, uh, I don't know, it's kind of funny to me. The historical photos. There's, uh... Group of random children plus uh, their teacher. If this is a celebrity, I don't know who he is, but he kind of looks my like my father. Well, he has the same hairstyle. Oh, postcard. Oh boy, look at this! Get a look at this. <laughs> Some uh, vintage porno. Um, there are kids here, right? Yeah, there are kids here. Yeah, I know. I I'd be censoring this in the editing, but you know. I'm tempted to procure this just because. Let's put it. Let's put it around. Just you know, so it's covered. What is this? Is this from a movie? Is this from a movie or like? Are these actual private photos of someone's sexual escapades? Yeah, he came out of that orgy. Yeah, it's this guy. I don't know who these people are. But they look cool. It's a uh, 1950s Tinder. I don't know. <laughs> oh, that's a still of a painting. Eh? Random children again. Eh? Oh, you're with your mother. I cannot flip this around. This is weird. I am tempted to get this. <laughs> it's porno. <laughs> How much? <laughs> well, there goes. Um. <laughs> Well, they're leaving. Uh, I guess that's cool. They're also nearby, by the way. My friend Gilbert. Who, by the way, I bought this very camera for. Yes, this DSLR. I bought it from him for like 10,000 pesos. Well, uh, if you like the quality of this uh, this vlog, uh, thank him. I don't know how you're going to get in touch with him, but oh well. This is also the same camera I shoot... Uh, the post-match interviews for MWF with as well, so that's cool, I guess. It's a really, really old-fashioned iron. Look at that. It, it's heavy as hell. It's like cast iron and stuff. Yeah, so you open it up, uh, put the coals in there, close it up, and then you get the ironing. Oh my god, this is a workout to use. Thank heavens for uh, electricity. <laughs> So that's supposed to be a daisho, but instead of a katana and wakizashi, it's a shinai. And uh, what looks to be a wakizashi. The shinai, the airsoft version of a katana. Was that a real puffer fish? I am curious. <laughs> how, did they, how did you come up with that? Oh, my favorite Toto song is playing. Yeah, it's not Africa, it's Rosanna. Because I got taste. Does anyone in this generation of basketball fans know who Moses Malone is? That guy. One of the greatest centers to ever play the game. Does anyone know him anymore? If there's one of Rodman, I might buy it. Oh, Dominic Wilkins. I might, but like 180 though. Hmm. Meteor Garden, look at that. Classic as fuck. Early 2000s. <laughs> Remember Boyzone? Well, I guess, uh... I like this guy's songs. He's dead now. I don't know what happened to all these guys. <laughs> oh yeah, look at that. Oh damn, that's actually pretty good. If there's one of Steve McQueen, I'm getting it. <laughs> I was looking for one of Steve McQueen, but no, it's Fidel V. Ramos. Oh god. 
more James Dean. Yeah, there's young Marlon Brando. I, I could get to. Not bad, not bad. Another James Dean. Come on, it's all James Dean. Oh, another underrated star. James Worthy. Oh! Philly Sixers Barkley. This is not bad, actually. I might get this. I like Barkley. Two kids on the block. Oh, no. There's Donnie. <laughs> I am super tempted by this. But I don't know how to take it home. That's a problem. It's too big. If it were smaller, it, I'd go for it. And then there's vinyl records. I'm not a vinyl collector, so no. And now one of those guys who's uh, got really bad ears who say that uh, vinyl sounds way better than like a FLAC file or an OGG file. Oh god. Those people are unbearable. I'm actually finding myself going back to that porno uh, collection. Oh no. Oh god, why? Why would you? <laughs> Yeah, I really like that ghost fighter. <laughs> oh, Pog. I used to get into Pog. Oh, he played it like uh, tax cards. Yeah. Tax cards. Those LSE things. Oh, yeah, I played with those. Jack Stones, Japex Kamen Rider Black. Um, he looks sick. Look at that. He looks really sick. What happened to you, Kuya Robert? May cancer ka ba? Garbage yo-yos you've ever seen. These things break so easily. One hit to the ground, they split open. Oh, it's a metronome. Cool. Is it real, Jack Daniels? Like, uh, yeah. Oh, Benedictine. <laughs> is, is there real Benedictine in this? If you think that the Jägermeister is hard, try Benedictine. <laughs> uh, Billy Idol. What did he do afterwards? He, he became a teacher, right? What, what the hell? Billy Idol and then, uh, yeah. Oh! This is a collector's item. Army Field Manual for Combat Engineers. Oh, it's a VHS of a Qi Gong manual. Yang style Tai Chi. Yeah, I can read a little bit of Chinese. Come on. This is my real surname. It's not Go, it's Yu or Yang in Mandarin. So I know this is Yang style Tai Chi. It's really hard to vlog with this camera. Yeah, I say, oh. That looks cool, actually. Chris. Someone's stamp collection. I never got stamp collecting. I guess they look cool. Then again, I have a Pinterest account, so I guess I kind of understand it in some way. This is just a little too analog for me, though. You spend the rest of your life hunting for the really rare ones. I guess that's cool. And then just random photographs, because why not? I'll go off on a tangent. And show you what happened uh, last week, Saturday, in uh, MWF 10 Republica. The stage was set up here. I worked at around uh, this location. Around here. I was standing here for most of the night. Taking uh, post-match interviews. It's right here. That spot. Before our show, MWF 10 Republica was preceded by a cosplay event, a cosplay competition. Now, the thing is, since uh, we followed up with them, they dictated most of uh, the stage setup. So, uh, unfortunately, uh, we had to come to a compromise. They ended their event at 5 p.m. So it gave us, like, I don't know, an hour to do a sound test. Yeah. Our ring was set up right here. Well, I guess the tiles are back because they ripped up all these tiles just to put our ring here. 
that's above and beyond for them, I guess. But yeah, these tiles were not here last week. Well, I'll tell one thing about the uh, Lucky Chinatown staff, uh, Mega World staff. They're kind of efficient, <laughs> so props to them. But yeah, we had a wrestling event here. This is my local mall. I watch movies here. So I guess I was kind of jazzed that they would do a wrestling show here. That's cool. How the hell do you use this? Yeah. Oh, magic wand. Oh, okay. Yeah, that kind of negates the length, though. Why would you have it this long? You have to operate it from here. I guess balance? So I guess I'll grab onto something. Uh, I'll grab Kamen Rider Gaim here. Uh, uh, yeah, I got you by the leg. Uh, I guess she wants to play with it. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Oh, okay. That's why it's designed like that. I could be able to use it with two hands. That's fun, I guess. Oh, okay. I recognize this. Oh, this from Double. Okay, you put the Gaia memory in here. I thought this was the DN driver. The DN blaster, I mean. Yes, that's it. It's just collectibles and stuff. I'm not buying it. <laughs> I don't have enough space in my room. But I am interested in one thing. <laughs> and, uh... Uh, convincing myself to get it. Alright, let's go back. Oh, okay, this is interesting. Hello, Shenron. I think you're too sick to grant a wish. <laughs> Look, looks like uh, Shenron has emphysema or something. I don't know. Oh, an old uh, cash register. S old sewing machine. Old iron again, but a lot smaller. Vinyl, a lot of vinyl. Woohoo! A thousand passes for Ducker cards. This is a vintage though, like a Florida East Coast souvenir playing cards. It's a thousand, and yeah, that's Florida. The flaccid penis of America. <laughs> oh, we used to have this. Yeah, the aluminum 10 cent coin. Oh, this is Singapore. Italian lira. Oh, a game token. One shilling. From where? Ost uh, Republic Osterite. Yeah. One shilling. Cool. I don't know exactly what that country is. Oh, one penny. It's got the Queen on it. Queen Elizabeth II. Okay. I was going to disparage uh, coin collecting, but uh, this is actually pretty interesting. Well, if you're collecting foreign coins that is they're actually interesting if it's just you know coins you grew up with like this one by the way this is one of the coolest uh, designs ever because it has the Philippine eagle on it and Marcelo H. Del Pilar who I think is uh, underappreciated I guess that's cool I see the value of bills more we used to use those bills yeah. Oh, look at how big these were. You can use these as challenge coins with your friends. These look gigantic now compared to today's coins. Ah, <laughs> okay. Uh, that uh, that old lady thought I was uh, from a TV show or something. No, this is my own thing. Because I'm a crazy a bastard. <laughs> With an ego. That's why I would do this. <laughs> what the hell? Are you a big fan of Jo Marie Iliana in his youth? There you go. There's your chance. <laughs> oh, that's sweet. I don't know these people. There's someone's wedding picture. Eh. Was that uh, Maggi de la Riva or something? I don't know. I'm not that well versed in the stuff of yesteryears. What the hell is this? Oh, it's got the Marcoses in it, right. Uh, if you're into Marcos era stuff, here you go. Oh, Nami fell. Oh, uh, Piccolo! Piccolo fell on his ass. Wait a minute.
I know who this chick is, but well, she'd be really old now. Oh, isn't this underaged? Yeah. Hey, University of California, Berkeley. I don't know who you are. Oh, it's a composer. If you're a fan of classical music, I guess. Who the hell is that guy, man? <laughs> a Doctor Who cosplayer right there. I don't know who he is. If he's someone really important, well, I'm sorry for... I'm sorry for uh, talking bad about him, alright? Like, come on. How much to take this off your hands? <laughs> They're not for sale. They're not for sale. Yeah. Okay. So not really Too bad. Really That's the most unique find I got here. <laughs> yeah, we have 1900. Yeah. Um, postcards. Vintage porno. It's not for sale. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know who these people are, but I know what that is. <laughs> um, if you want, I'll make an offer. Uh, 300 for each card. Whoa! It's that. These are, uh, it fetches that steep. <laughs> 60s? Yeah, I know. <laughs> Marcos era. <laughs> That's what most of these are. Uh, well, we, we should have uh, removed this yesterday, but we forgot. Ah. Uh, well, I helped you. <laughs> uh, thanks anyway. Uh, oh, that's too bad. They're offering 300 per porno pick. Dude, I don't pay for my porn. I will never pay for my porn. I'm not gonna start now, even for vintage. Although I was willing to like give like a hundred for that pack. Oh well. Well, thanks RetroCon. You're hilariously loud, very uh, crowded, and uh, I don't know what else to say about you. I guess thanks for sponsoring Manila Wrestling Federation, I guess. I'm gonna go get dinner. Holy crap, what the f***? <laughs> they just... The, they took the floor off! Christ! 